Hey, what's up guys? Justin Casey here from Elysium Risk Management. In today's video, we're going to take a look at another social media based OSINT Sockment based tool. Um, and again, similar to our last video, this one is going to be on another tool focused around Telegram. Um, so if you haven't seen the last video, be sure to go check it out. Um, but um, let's take a look. So first off, we're going to head over to GitHub. And the tool that we're going to take a look at today is known as Geogram Int. Okay, Geogram Int obviously is um, geo-based telegram intelligence. Okay, uh, in short, Geogram Int is an OSINT geolocation tool for telegram. And for those of you that don't know what GitHub is, okay, GitHub essentially is a platform where there is my alarm. <laughs> always at the worst times and um, so and um, github essentially is a platform for users that develop tools that develop programs that kind of thing where they can upload them share them with the community it is just like osint it's very open source okay and it's a very supportive great community okay so you can come along here you can find new tools and um, you can find documentation on some tools that maybe you're already using be them um, tools that are already provided for you in your virtual machines and um, etc so let's take a look so when we talk about telegram okay telegram so this is a geo geo based tool that will help us to identify users groups etc within certain um certain areas and um, based on longitude and latitude and um, on geospatial intelligence essentially okay what i like about this tool is one that we don't really get very often when it comes to OSINT and Sockman tools is actual Windows installers, okay? And for this one, um, I always recommend um, if you're using these kind of tools and stuff, just be cautious, have a reading of the developer, see what other kind of programs um, they have done. This one is by ALB310. Okay, I, I don't know, there's no direct name behind it. I haven't actually dived in there to take a look. So this is why I recommend just keep it on virtual machines, okay? And um, just to be safe. So it does have a requirement of Python 3, okay? So just make sure that your Python repositories are still up to date and installed. Um, so, but for a Windows-based machine, it's very, very easy and I really like it, okay? You click here, you pick your... Um, executable i already have it so i'm going to shut that down um and you can just install it straight away okay and it doesn't take much okay um i don't have my linux terminal up at the minute okay but if you are on linux don't worry okay it's still very very easy okay if you want to do a fair with github via the github uh, git clone you can simply just copy this and um over here you can copy the whole thing and you can then paste that into your terminal okay and um, so let me see it's also available on mac okay on mac but let's dive in and take a look okay so once it is downloaded let me find it here okay so here is the logo here for it i actually have it open so we'll open it up here okay Remember, it is Telegram based. So what we need to do before we can dive in and play around is we need to connect our Telegram services, our API. Okay, so down here in settings. Okay, I am going to blur all of this out because <laughs> right now you would be seeing my API ID and my API hash and phone number. And these, this is information that you do not want to give away um, to other, other people just because it is directly associated to your account. Okay, so, but how do we get that? How do we get that? Let's head back over to GitHub. We had a quick look at this in our last video, but let's have a look here. I believe there's a link. Um, da, 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 da. Let me see, where is it? Okay, so here. Okay, so if you want to get your API key, we can click here and this is gonna bring us to our My Telegram. Okay, my one is already signed in, okay? But what you should see is you should see um, let's no I won't um, but you should just see enter the phone number you enter the phone number that is directly associated and set up via your telegram okay so make sure to have telegram account set up prior um, trying to run these tools okay so once you put in your phone number and um, you hit enter and then they will send the message directly to your telegram 
Okay, it's not going to go to your phone number. It's going to go to your Telegram account. So when you open up your Telegram account, you will have a code. You input the code and then it will bring you to this page. Once you get to this page, we're going to click here because I am going to blur all of this out. Okay, and um, but you will see then here or first you need to create. Okay, so you, you will get a page that says create. Just throw in, you can put in any names you want, whatever. Okay, um, and for it's going to ask you for a URL, a website URL for your app. Just put in telegram.org. That will work perfectly. Okay. Um, then you should get here. Eventually, you will get here to the API ID and the API hash. And this is all you need. This and this. Okay. So what you do is you copy this. We will head back to our tool into settings. And you will paste it in API ID. We will go back. Wrong one. So that is the page, the login page, actually, sorry. So you'll go back, you'll collect your hash and go back to the tool and paste in your hash. Then obviously the phone number and then hit save. Once you hit save, um, you should essentially be up and running, okay? But there will be one more step, okay? A little bit of, let's say, 2FA, two-factor authentication. So let's go to the best city in the world, okay? And... Drop a comment in the comment box below and um, what you believe is the best city in the world. But for me, it is most certainly my hometown here in Dublin. Um, so what we can do is we can go to wherever we want to be. Let's say we are conducting an investigation, okay? Um, maybe we are trying to identify a specific user, um, let's say our target, and but maybe they're using a different a different um, username that they don't traditionally typically use because maybe they're let's say using telegram more nefariously than they would and um, they're let's say more social profiles okay and um, so maybe they're they're using a different username trying to be smart trying to be something like that okay so maybe what we can do is we can navigate to let's say where should we go okay i'll zoom out let's just go collectively around center of dublin okay let's throw it onto o'connell street for those of you that haven't been to dublin make sure to drop a visit and if you are visiting hit me up okay i'll show you all the good spots so o'connell street here and we're just going to hit start search right now in the background that should be running but while it is if it's the first time you've hit start search what will happen is a box will come up and it will tell you and to input a, a, a two-factor authentication code so what happens is they will send a, a four five six digit number to your telegram account when you go to your telegram account and um, you should have that number you can copy and paste it and put it in okay let me see this is running in the background it's a little bit slow because my internet is terrible today so let's run start search again and what I'll do is I'm just going to pause the recording until it's done so you don't have to sit here and wait around. Okay, we're back. Okay, so as you can see, it has loaded up. It, it took, let's say, two, three minutes, not even. I'd say about two minutes, okay, um, but I'm just terribly impatient. Um, so as you can see, we can see various different users um, within the vicinity. Um, and there is a color coordination scheme to it okay so any of these in green means it's within 500 meters of um of the pinpoint now how they are let's say how they are gathering this um this geolocation data uh, data source i'm not too sure okay i'm not too sure if they're just doing it via ip based or if they're doing it directly with people that have their location switched on so i wouldn't rely on it too heavily Okay, but we can see that um, a lot of them are, in fact, Dublin. Okay, especially these groups. Especially the groups. Um, but what we could do is we could begin to then maybe navigate through some of these users if we are looking to identify a specific target. And maybe, okay, let's scroll past some of these. Or let's just scroll right back up, okay? This is one of our hazards in in Ocean especially in dark web based stuff I'm sure a lot of you guys know and um, we need to be cautious but um, for the sake of YouTube I'm not going to scroll down and um, so as I was saying 
Um, so if we are looking for a specific target, etc., maybe we start going down and we can see a username that is maybe, let's say, associated or directly correlation um, between our target and the username put up on this. Maybe it's an image that comes up, an avatar, etc., to help them um, to help, let's say, cross reference that between the data sources that we have initially already. Um, so I think it's a pretty good tool. And we can start playing around, have a look at various different groups. Um, again, this, this will work all over. Okay, I, I like the platform. I like the way they have it, that we can just scroll around, play around very quickly. We can navigate to somewhere and begin to run a search there. So in the interest of time, I'll leave it at that. Okay, so I think, I think there's enough information there for you guys to dive in and play around. Like I always tell my students, the best way to learn is just to dive in head first. Okay. And um, so enjoy. Okay, let me know in the comments below if you have enjoyed it, um, or um, if you have any, if you have any tools that uh, you would like me to check out and like me to review, please let me know. Okay. In the meantime, make sure please to hit that subscribe button, and we'll try to get the subscribers list up and get some views up, uh, and hopefully make more and more content. Four stars and I'm a fool for your love.